no, no, you heard me right the first time. William the Conqueror kept referring to me as English woman. English woman. King John at least acknowledged some of his wrongdoings, but then, of course, he completely backtracked. And don't even get me started on Henry VIII. The world's best at dodging blame. Also, you promised me eight monarchs, and half of them didn't even turn up. And not only that, looking at this list you've just sent me, there's a few people on here that aren't even monarchs. So how has that happened? Word got around, did it? Ah, King John shared the Zoom call ID to make himself more popular. Well, that's just great. No, no, I'm happy to continue. Smaller sessions then. Wait, wait, you still haven't told me who it is I'm actually working for. Just hang up then. Great. I guess I'll never know. I'm going to need therapy after this. So, do you see what I'm saying? Now, a new dynasty means a strong heir is a must. Agreed? Of course you agree. <laughs> Have you killed if you didn't? <laughs> you agree. But imagine, you, you, your wife isn't giving you one, but you know that you can have one because you've got one from your mistress. A uh, son, that is. Uh, look, this is really hard for me, Dr. Cat, but there was this new woman on the block and- Oh, let's not use the phrase on the block. Whew. She was she was intelligent, she was witty, a great dresser, very beautiful, loves my poetry, and uh, she has this great sister. Yes, yes, Henry, I think everyone and their dog knows who Anne Boleyn is. I'm asking you why you thought it was appropriate to treat your wives in the manner that you did. I'm God's anointed and they betrayed me. Anyway, who cares? So I got an annulment from the Spanish one and I married the feisty one. Anne. Her name was Anne. Let's practice using their names. You divorced Catherine and you married Anne. Whatever. The feisty one betrayed me, so I had her removed. Um, I mean, she had like five other boyfriends. Very uncool. I mean, devastating blow for me, really. But luckily enough, though, she had this very uh, quiet and manageable lady in waiting, so I married her. Yes, again, let's start using their names. You married Jane just 11 days after you had beheaded Anne. Yeah, it was so worth it, though, because I got my son. No sweat. Did I ever tell you I'm, uh, I'm Defender of the Faith and Lord of Ireland? Henry, listen carefully to what I'm about to say to you. Do you think that being the first king in history to behead his wife over some rumours that he heard around court, leaving your three-year-old daughter Elizabeth with no mother, was the correct decision? Or do you think that maybe, deep, 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 deep down, that this was not the right thing to do and that you now regret it? Yes. Do you know what, Dr Cat? I think there is something I regret very deeply. Finally! I mean, Henry, that's great progress. Please, let's hear it. I should never have put so many cannons on the Mary Rose. Oh, that beautiful ship never stood a chance. I mean, it, it's all about power to balance ratios, you see. Oh, I give up. Henry, what about all the people that lost their lives when that ship went down? Ah, uh, I hugged the wife of the captain of the ship. Well done. Do you want a cookie? Look, I'm not getting into this today. This session is nearly over and we haven't even begun to explore why your relationship with women is so abusive. Sorry, I've just had a message from Pam. Oh, for goodness sake. Our next participant has arrived early for his group session. Why is it that you monarchs can't just arrive at the time that's been given to you? Right, Henry, you're free to go. Please work on those points that I've set you for homework for this week. Actually, Dr. Cat, can I stay? Uh, I'm trying to avoid my fourth wife, Anne of Cleves. She's really quite annoying. I mean, she's great on paper, but we don't have that spark. What about Jane? 
Well, she died. I'm actually quite sad about that one. Can I, can I stay? Please? Please? Well, I think you're going to regret it, but fine. Is anyone going to announce me? Fine, I will do it myself. Please show your reverence for Felipe, King of all Spain, King of Portugal, King of Sicily and Naples, King of England and Ireland, Lord of the Netherlands, Duke of Milan, Count of Flanders, Hainaut and Artois. I'm just going to call you Philip here, okay? Who's this joker? King of England? Don't worry, Henry, he's from the next generation. I am King of England. Let me guess. You landed on English soil, claiming it as your own, and then my son, Edward, defeated you in glorious battle. Yeah, well, not exactly. Your son, Edward, dies at the age of 15. He was always a very, very sickly boy. And then your first daughter, Mary, becomes queen, and now she needs a good Catholic husband. Here we go, hooray! I am now, kind of, King of England. And then she died. No children, although she was apparently pregnant for about a year, but, you know. But it doesn't matter. I will marry the other daughter, Elizabeth. And she said, no way, Jose. And I said, well, actually, my name is Philip. And I'm actually doing you a favor. You're not even legitimate in the eyes of God. Uh, anyway, we both say some nasty words. One thing led to another. And I sent this big armada. There were several big armadas. Uh, but our ships got burned. And uh, the wind is really, really unpredictable in your country. You know? And anyway, I am no longer king of England, but it's okay, I'm dealing with it. I've got loads of land anyway, so, you know. Thank you, that. Philip. That was really brave. You really opened up there. Henry, how are you feeling? I, I, I'm processing a lot. Well, it is great to finally meet my father-in-law. I, I hear that you are just as overbearing as your daughters, especially Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. S -s Slow down a minute. Henry, I did tell you that you'd regret staying on this call. So, Edward dies, Mary, and then Elizabeth becomes queen? A queen regnant? I mean, did, did the people revolt? Did London burn? Did hell freeze over? Oh, did one of them marry a Frenchman? Were we invaded? No, Henry. Your two daughters were very strong queens. It's just a shame they hated each other. They also maintained your killing streak of all those who opposed them. And my grandsons. Oi, Philip. Did you give me grandsons? Please tell me that the, the Tudor dynasty lives on somewhere with a son. No, no, I, I did try, I promise, mainly, mainly from a distance. I prefer to stay here in Spain, obviously. But then your other daughter, Elizabeth, um, I heard that she remained single all of her life. Uh, so no grandson there either, sorry. Uh, and that is the end of your dynasty. Do you want a, uh, a sympathy orange? Or I think I got some tobacco somewhere. Uh, anyone? Tobacco? No? No. Anyway, Dr. Cat, the future woman. Uh, tell me, does England have more Catholic monarchs after Mary? I mean, because that's what I was really going for. All that Church of England business. Still Catholic. Henry, still on the winning side. Henry, after you broke with the Roman Catholic Church, we had lots of problems trying to figure out what the faith of England would be and Roman Catholic monarchs were made illegal here in 1689, and they were up until, well, now. We're still a Protestant country in 2020. A result, that's what I meant. Big win for us Protestants. Me cachis la mar. Jopetas! Me, me, en la leche. Que le pasa a la gente? Menudos idiotas! Me... Mate, 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 mate. What, what we need to do is we need to not let these women come between us. We men need to stick together, especially with Dr. Cat here. Look, I think we both agree, as long as they're descended from me and they are a man, all is well. Yeah. No, you're right. And as long as they have a large empire. Yes, and absolute power. Yeah. We do not care who rules. You're actually a really great guy, Henry. You know, we should go for tapas sometime there, maybe a pinch or... Oh. Here we go. He looks like a strong king. Oh, he's got my eyes. Nothing says power like excellent facial hair. You like that?
Oh, <coughs> Victoria, it is happening. They are here. I detect a foreign accent. I told you you would be invaded. <laughs> Albert, you must announce me. Uh, <clears throat> well, fine, if you are going to be a child about it. <clears throat> Presenting Her Majesty Victoria, Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, Lords Dominions. Good day to you all. Good day, Dr. Cat. Good day, Victoria. Hey, how come she got announced? A woman? Karam! Looks like Henry's gone. Something I said? <laughs>